Sean, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean. And I've been riding the car and listening to the radio quite a bit lately. There's certain things that you can get from the radio in terms of the music business that you can't get from listening to other things. I just keep a pulse on things. And I've been hearing this song a whole lot lately. And I'm like, this song sounds familiar. And they keep playing it, keep playing it. And eventually I find out that it's Queen Nigel. And I'm like, oh snap. This song, Medicine, this is the song she dropped last December, December 31st in 2017. I remember when she dropped that audio. Now we're in September of 2018. That audio is at 25 million views. But not only that, they dropped a video, official video in March. And that's at 67 million views. She's a YouTube star. How did this happen? People always say YouTube stars cannot break out. How did this happen? Well, first, we're going to rewind it back a little bit for those of you who don't know who she is and understand her come up. So Queen Nigel actually started to blow up with her boyfriend, her now ex-boyfriend, and also baby daddy, Chris Sales. They had like the couples page going on on YouTube. People start to love them as a couple. You get to buy into these personalities. Everybody's bought into the relationship. However, throughout their relationship, there's been quite a bit of cheating, a little bit of toxicity, you know, a lot of those heated arguments, all that stuff that you can expect. I'm not gonna get into the details because it's ain't a gossip page, but it's important. You'll see why in a second. Now, after blowing up as a couple, they also created their own separate YouTube pages. Nigel created her YouTube page back in April of 2017, and now that has gotten a lot of traction. She has like over a million subscribers on that, which is great because now they're not a couple anymore. But what's so important to understand is because of how they broke up, right? They had so much attention. They created a lot of controversy and drama. There was a lot of conversations and PR that they were able to get for free, not just as an artist for Queen Niger, but really just as a couple in general, a lot of people finding out who they are. I'm talking about the fact that YouTube basically has its own version of TMZ and there's all these other blogs that cover YouTube as if they were legitimate stars, but they only focus on those stars in that underworld of YouTube stars. This not only generated a lot of additional conversation, but the fact that there's this appealing relationship that's just breaking down before the fans' eyes, it gave them something to talk about. And not only that, Queen Nigel comes back on top and drops a bomb, which was medicine. Basically copying the formula that's been so successful so many times before, which is if I were a boy or a like a boy, right? Sierra had I were a boy, Beyonce had like a boy. There's so many songs where women say, if I was a man and I treated you this way, you wouldn't like it, would you? Nah, uh, uh. And those always resonate with women who's been mistreated but it's even more powerful because they were able to see this relationship play out and hear all of the drama. But when the song was actually dropped, there were still videos where apparently Chris Sells, the ex-boyfriend, was claiming that she cheated and she cheated first. Now she keeps coming out with videos talking about I didn't cheat. You can see her videos that came out after the fact that continue to bring energy to the song because the controversy is parallel with the content of the song. They kind of push each other equally because you're hearing hearing her story when she talks about it in these vlog videos and now you see that story condensed when you listen to her music. So her fans are able to connect with her brand and her personality because when they hear her music, they feel like they feel everything that she's saying because they know a backstory. Even if they haven't matured enough or been through a relationship like that, they're able to connect because they know the person so well. This is like a movie or a TV show they've been watching. And as a matter of fact, it's like a friend and now they see this friend crying out on their song. So after this song started to get a good amount of traction, she actually got signed to Capitol Records. Now we talk about being on the radio. For you artists who don't know, you're pretty much not gonna be on the radio heavily if you do not have a record label. Too much details in the background, but that's pretty much straight up. So since she's been signed, that song has been pushed to another level. It already had a lot of traction because she was a YouTuber, because it was a song that, that was actually good. And now she has the traditional backing to take the song to another level and take her career to another level. She also has another song called Karma, has 37 million views. This isn't, I'm a YouTuber, fly by night, I got a viral hit, and now you know I'm not gonna have a real career. I just had one song that popped and went viral. This is a legitimate career that she started, which all artists have to keep in mind when people tell you that you can't be on YouTube and then create a legitimate career 
it's not the truth. It's all about getting the right music and the right timing, just like it is for every other situation. She's dropped songs before. None of the songs have done what this music has done. And her boyfriend, or her ex-boyfriend, Chris Sells, that guy has music too. And it does have some millions of views because of the attention he's getting from all this stuff. But it ain't good. He's not going to have a legitimate career off of it. That's just my opinion, though. And just to add a little bit to the messy, gossipy stuff, she also has a boyfriend now that she's already having a kid with, which is relatively soon after, you know, she just left the man that she had a kid with as well. And it's weird because the dude looks kind of like her old dude. They got the beer game going strong. She definitely has a type. Even with this relationship, there's a whole backstory. So there's so many layers for fans to connect. And that's one of the benefits of YouTube and putting your brand, your life out there as that type of personality if you want to still be in music and you are being an authentic artist. Because if it's going to reflect your life in the first place, them understanding your life and being able to connect with your life because they see that it's real and knowing the small details will only make your music that much more real to them. Use Queen Nigel as an example. You're going to see a lot more of Queen Nigel's. This isn't the cash me out girl where people can say, oh, this is a viral star that's trash, but they got a record deal or a lot of these other artists. She's a legitimate artist. She has a legitimate song, but she also started off as a YouTuber and she's still a YouTuber. We'd love to know you guys' thoughts. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.